In the old days, no visit to the countryside would have been complete without seeing at least one red squirrel. There are still more than 100,000 of them in parts of the UK. But they've been swamped by two and a half million grey squirrels, unloved, unwelcome, and now officially classed as vermin. For the owner of the Cotswold Wildlife Park, grey squirrels are a real pest. And Dave, their foremost foe, okay. has come to pay his respects. This time of year at the park, we, we get the squirrels moving in and um, they cause a lot of damage by chewing through the top of the aviaries. Can't have that because they chew through the aviaries and the birds escape. So uh, we're going to go and put a few traps up just to round them up. But traps aren't the only weapon in Dave's arsenal. Just in case you do happen to see one in the tree, I do carry a small shotgun with me. Grey squirrels are thriving here, and Dave wants them to be the number one unprotected species. The squirrels come down and they'll chew holes into it, and then, of course, the birds get out. We also have provost squirrels in these uh, cages, which are from southern Asia, so there's always a chance that the, the grey squirrel can pass on diseases. And they also chew into the nest boxes. There's a lot of nest boxes in the woodlands. Um, they chew into the nest boxes, steal the eggs and the, and the chicks in the spring. So we want to keep, keep the squirrels down and, uh, and then everything's sweet. These traps that I use here, they are very powerful things. He's fixed to the tree. Have a bait offer in them. And then the squirrel comes up, and when he goes for the bait offer, good night, Vienna. They're very powerful, they don't, they don't take any prisoners, they kill instantly, and they never miss. Pop a little bit of maize in there. A lot of people don't agree with them being, being controlled, but there's no option, there's, you have to do it here. You can't have birds out all the time and uh, damage, disease spreading. For Dave, there's nothing sentimental about this business. This is one I put up a couple of days ago. I did check it yesterday. I have no time for squirrels. I'm not a great lover of squirrels. But they're a living thing, I mean, and if they've got to be controlled, then do it in the, in the most humane way possible. I've never had a miss. The neck's completely broken. The squirrel is dead in a flash. That is how I consider the proper way to control squirrels. So, there we are. The grey squirrels at the wildlife park have only one regret. They just wish they were red. <laughs>